this is where the action is. This is where you can see the, the death-defying crashes. The amazing finishes. I mean, you wouldn't believe they're pushing 80, 85 miles an hour. Flying down the hill, just hoping that they don't get sideways. That's the end. It's extreme. What these shovel demons need is speed. The main goal at this point from now on is we want to go faster, faster, faster. Ow! steer it straight down the mountain every single time and never have any problems. Yeah, well, it worked. Yeah, I mean, so... Well, I'm I mean, just looking at it. It worked for Gail. It's it crashed close. every other time it's ever run. Besides the year Tony Cotman raced it. There's no so, reason I mean, it's, to, it's, to change it that much. Do you like it up like that, right? Hold on, let me get, let's get the seatbelt on oh, first. Yeah. Ooh, I got it, I got it. <laughs> so, Gail, what's it like to be back in that thing? <laughs> Oh, it feels good. <laughs> Not here. Okay, I got it. There. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm going to do this one first, so watch your way, boss. Any of them need your help? There's no way I can do it by myself. Ah. Suck it all in, Bulls. Ah. <laughs> He's going on a non beer well, diet until the race. Hook in? Right there. Just, you got to. It's got a stretch to that. Yeah, long underwear and shit on too. Hey, are you cussing enough? On the strap. Because they cut it off, the dumbasses. Oh, sorry. The dumbass. dumbass. No. You really want it tight anyways. There you go. So this, this, Get up this way. You're going to have to have your foot cocked in the ready position. Way back. Yeah, like there. Has to be there. I wonder if we can mount this whole Put thing. Put your hand on here and try and scoot your head. That's what Tony Cotman did. He didn't, he didn't mean to break. Accidentally just, yeah. I think he did mean to break. Cause, but then the break was a little different, I guess, because it, it would just you, fire down like that. You could get at least almost two inches on this if you moved these screws and made new holes. Yeah, that's what I was here. thinking. That's what I was thinking. We'll have I don't see how you... Or where was it mounted last time? That's exactly. This thing it's never. Lengthened. It's oh, never it was moved just from here. It's never it's moved. I just move my foot back like that and go. Yeah, but we're gonna have to just put a little piece on here. We have to put something else on here to well, make it easier. Well, that's push. the thing. You can't ride down the course with your foot like resting on no. there, and you get jarred, and then it goes. Yeah, right, okay, it. so now now hit it. Hit the brake. No, you're missing it. You're totally missing it. You've yeah, just already hit yeah. the net. Well, see, I'm not gonna be wearing these shoes for one thing. I got my little. Yeah, but work. it's like way too far off. I agree. We it need to get it to be to way. It like needs two to be inches up. at least. I think if we put another piece, the pedal used to come up and be wider, Andy. That's why I think you get it in. It, it almost easier. needs to be slanted this way or filed this way so it, it just put the slip and then hit it. All right, try to hit it, bulls. I I, I can hit it. That's not it. Is that it? That's it. There you go. You gotta go that far you back. You gotta go right there, baby. All the way. So Andy, that's maybe right before he goes down, pop this off, make sure everything's the way you want it. Tell him get your foot in the right spot, don't move it from there. Head down. Drill other. Let's see what so else I think Gail's for. probably ready to get out of there. Man, this fucker's good. It should be tight like this. I mean in this belt. You know what I just found a new place I want to put padding in here. Where? The side where my, right my there. knees are. Here. 
right here. Yeah. Okay. Those both of these ones are right up. Yep, totally. Woo! Packing it in in the hammer. Tight squeeze. Yeah. Well, I get my long and Of course, he has the nicest rope available. Again, the drive to Mora, to Holman, to go see Don Atkins, and hopefully work on my sled. We've got about two and a half days left. We'll see uh, where Don is and how much he's got to do just to show you how much uh, of a miracle it's going to be if we can actually pull all this off. Cruising along on an icy, snowy road. It's sort of a nice day, wind blowing across the, uh, the snow across the road here, and I've just been dealing with uh, adverse weather conditions all the way. This is where it cleared up enough for me to film just a second. Hey, bro, how's it going? So just cruising along in four-wheel drive, and up ahead is the spot that I was at two days ago, coming back uh, right on the uh, border of Taos County and Mora County. We haven't quite got to Holman Hill yet. Holman Hill, which is a fairly massive straight down mountain. So the road, as you can see, is white and snow packed and icy. So we're just going to cruise along here and uh, we'll meet you at Donnie's. Actually, I've sabotaged each one of your sleds. <laughs> Mine is going to be the only one that makes it down the hill safely. <laughs> I see. Oh, well, is that the team attitude I hear? Yes. <laughs> so let me ask you this. What did you, uh, what did you think of Kent's sled? Well, I, I think it'll work. You think that it's I, safe? I hope it'll be... Well, I don't, I don't consider it as safe as the other ones. No, I don't. Uh-huh. What do you think he would need to do to really turn this sled into a safer design? Is there anything you think yeah, you just... could do at the last minute when we're there yeah. to help shore it up? Not there, no. Uh huh. Not much. Not much. Not much. So okay. we're just gonna have to wing it with Kent's sled. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so what do you think about winning, Don? Are you in this to win? Do you want your sled to be the fastest of the four? Uh, I don't have a uh, a big desire to be faster than someone else. I would like to. I would like to last and win the final round. That would be that, nice. That's the that's the object. So would it be ideal to be racing one of your team Shovelmeister teammates in the I finals? I believe it would be, yes. You think we will be? It would be. Hmm. Well, you've got as good a chance as anyone. All right. I personally believe that, uh, that the team attitude here that we have is uh, unique and that neither of us would really care which one of us won as long as it was one of us. If we were racing the other uh, in the finals, we'd want to win, of course, but uh, it sure takes the pressure off because no matter who wins, Team Shovelmeister wins, and that's the thing about it. I mean, Gail Bowles is the world champion, but the team is the world champions also. So it really lifts us all one step above. And of course, I want to say thank you to Scott Bowers for uh, hooking us up. Scott Bowers is the uh, uh, marketing director for Oakley Products, and without Oakley as our sponsor, Team Shovelmeister would not be as stylish as we are. He uh, basically sent every single person on the team a pair of Oakley shades. But uh, he sent me a few extras, so I have a different pair for a different day. Thanks, Scott.
That's what she said. Man. She said, "Damn, I'm good." What? Yeah. You getting to be a master at that? <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, I've asked him several times what he does with all those women over there. Will you be quiet? Yeah, Every time I pick up the camera. Guilty as sin, isn't Shut it? Up. Huh? Is that guilt or what? <laughs> huh? What do I do with all the women? Anything I want. You're just jealous. Uh, it's not the size of the tool, it's just how much torque you put on it. Hey, that looks nice. DA Racing, Sipa Poo, Image Makers, Tels Mountain Satellite, Tim's Chile Connection, Shide Motor. Huge, taking up the whole side of the craft. Taos Pharmacy. D4 Armco. The Viper. And then, Tottenham's Coors Light. Atomic Jeep. Poor Don. I'm driving him just about crazy. We're almost finished up with mine, and then I'm going to get the heck out of here, and we're going to go back over to Taos and uh, try to show the show the sled to some of the sponsors. So uh, after, after I do that, hopefully I'll be able to get a little bit more money out of everybody because it looks so damn nice and I can get out of Donnie's way and he can just start working on his sled and get that thing finished. So once again, here we are, Big Don Shum working away. going to be uh, ESPN's Extreme Games and Angel Fire's uh, World Championships. Oh, you got pharmacy on there? Uh -huh. Chili cake? Mm -hmm. How'd you like to drive that, Gigi? What do you think, down owls? The show.
carry on again another mile pushed along by a hill when i say i'm going to build a fast sled do i am i, am I messing around it looks like a uh, a nascar it's sick, ain't it? It's unreal. I still don't think you could get in there. Oh, I can get in there. It's like a... Check this out. I can't get in there. Oh, yeah, you can. It's huge. Trader, you're good to go, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Is this man. the truck we're shining? Uh, we're not taking this. We're going to take a van with a uh, trailer. See your logo? Hey, look. Oh, wow. Check it out. You should take a picture of that, Talbert. Yeah, I think it's been handled. Wow. That's unreal. That's great. The Viper. What do you think? Did you see the paper yesterday? Did you see the logo right there? All right, tell us who you are and how you got hooked up with this. Uh, name is Talbert March. I own a barbecue restaurant in Taos. Which is uh, Deep Which Fork. is the Deep Fork Smokehouse. And uh, anybody that sees this knows how I got into it. <laughs> <laughs> this trader came in to get a barbecue sandwich, and I was writing him a check about half an hour later. So <laughs> here we are. But... Uh, I was happy to. This is fun. This is a great deal, and you overwhelm me. <laughs> and we still have another sled that's not finished yet. That will be hopefully done by Monday. That'll look just as sleek as this shit. Can you believe it? Th you're taking one other just like this? No, not just like this. He's just Don, the guy who built this for me, is building himself one. Plus we have Thor's hammer, which you've seen too, right. and we have Kent's. Wow. Your legs stretch straight out through here? Uh huh. It's gotta be dangerous. Look at that thing. Look inside of it, Tolbert. Tell me you don't see like roll cage. Tell me you don't look, it doesn't look safe to you when you get in there and see how strong it is. <laughs> There's a shovel in it. There's a shovel in it, yep. but that'll be attached to the bottom. But. Wow. Press. What is this? Is this gonna be the winner? Or the, I uh, sure hope so. Or I, is the world champion gonna win it again? Uh, you know, he has a good chance to do really well, but I think he has a good chance to get the pole position. But it's going to take a sled that can make run after run after run, and I'm hoping this one's it. Well, good luck to you. I hope you win it all. So it looks like business is a little slow right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it? <laughs> you know, Dinner time? Yeah, I'm getting hungry. So Come on back here. Let's see what we got. No problem with over Let's see what we got here. Mmm, I'm okay. so hungry. Ooh, chopping it up. So, Tober, are you gonna? Did you watch us on ESPN the other day? I watched last night. Did we watch last night? No, but no, the, it was they on did Wednesday night. Wednesday night. I watched Wednesday night. It was not on that. Nine thirty. We were on ESPN two. But explain, right? It's yes. Called explain. Did they start with the ice climbing? Okay, we're here at Shide Motors, <laughs> and there's Bill, the man himself. Come on, Bill. I got something to show you. Oh, you got it in the back. Look at the savage. Right. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. All right. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Wow. Is that shit awesome or what, baby? Oh, yes, it is. Oh, this baby's sweet. Now, when I, when I say I'm going to deliver, do I deliver? Look at this oh, thing. Mom. Is this the slickest shit you ever seen? Look at that shite motor. He's a wild man. Looks beautiful, man. Beautiful. Even got you right up here. I even watched the games again last night. They were on. Which games? Stream X Games. What What Same were they showing? We the other night. Oh, they showed us again? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they really? were on a bunch of times now before the games. Shit. And your buddy, your buddy Bill was on, and I really respected everything he had to say. And oh, yeah. I know that during the interview, he was thinking of Team Shovelmeister. Burgess, he knows we're going to win, doesn't he? Yes, he does. He's afraid, isn't yes, he? Yes, he does. Very, very afraid. Yes, he does. You get the feeling of like a uh, Alexei and Coffin or something like that, you know? Yeah, I'm here with Bill Shot. He's got motors. He's actually in the Viper now. The, 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 what do you think, Bill? <laughs> I think now I know why they call it the Extreme Games. <laughs> 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 kind of like uh, uh, Alexei and Death Ride, maybe? <laughs> 70 miles an hour. You want to take her for a test spin around the parking lot? I, I think we can do that. I think we can do it. And we'll fine tune it up. So how did you get involved with all this shovel racing mania? Um, well, I moved from the big city into a small town for the good life, and um, I met a madman called John Strader. That's how I ended up doing this. <laughs> how, how can you convince you to do something so wild, so crazy? Uh, well, it wasn't too hard to convince me to do something crazy, because I'm used to that. Uh -huh. um, 
But basically, um, I see more of John than I do my own kids. Uh, that's that's probably one of the reasons why it happened. You know what I mean? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> well, depending on what day it is in the cycle of the moon, we we often don't know this. <laughs> I know the stars were in a weird configuration on that day. Uh, yeah, Johnny, they were. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> But no, it's uh, no, it's just exciting to be able to be involved, and I can't wait to get out to California. And uh, so you're actually traveling out to California. Oh, well, you bet, you bet. Now, of course, I'm going to take the easy route. We're going to take the plane out. You're going to fly out. Yes, we're going to we're going to let John uh, load up the sleds and take all the equipment and uh, 16 cases of beer, and uh, we'll meet him out there. So how uh, how are we getting out there this year? What what has uh, Shy Motor done to to support Chief Schumacher here? Well, we tried to provide him with as many vehicles as possible. We're going to give you a Ram van to run out there with. Uh -huh. and um, kind of make it all complete uh, considering Shy Motor Chrysler uh, Motor Company is Dodge Chrysler Plymouth Jeep and Eagle uh, we figured we had to put you into a Dodge I agree with that the Ford she's done me good but not in California. well the, the, the Ford the Ford is pre-race yeah. you know we, pre -race action. we can't let those beautiful Dodges out there getting beat up and uh, That's true. doing all the hard work so uh, we like to save them for the glory <laughs> He's a little head support right there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm gonna have one put in. I, I think it would be good. I, or, or you know, seat cushion, maybe something like that. A little pillow. Yeah. A little pillow so I can nap at the starting one. And uh, geez, what would happen if I pull this thing right here? Bill, don't pull that. Just don't pull that. That's the uh, ejector seat. <laughs> the ejector seat, exactly. Shoot you right out of there. <laughs> this is where Bill puts me when I'm bad. That's, a, that's the only control I have on him, that's it. I put him in a cage, I leave him in there for three or four hours, he gives him a little bit more respect, we let him out. He goes back to reality once again. I've been a good boy, I've done what you asked, let me out. Hey, I bet I can wiggle my way to Juarez in this thing. We gotta cross the border. Well, actually, if uh, the team shovel my investment win, that's the way Johnny is on the board. He's going to drop me off the Gordon Bridge in this thing. Your love, your love is a key. Thank you. 
What is that a dress you're wearing? Stop it. So much closer with a smile from an unknown friend. Feel our strength in your heart to carry on again. Another mile pushed along by a helping. I will be free from these chains that bind. Someday I wake to find them sorrows left behind. I will be free, please don't bother me, there's something I must find. Feverishly. So, any last words of uh, optimism here, Don? I'm fixing to break you and that camera. <laughs> shortly. <laughs> you and the camera. Yeah. All right, then I guess we'll just tune out from Don's house. <laughs> okay, we're going to have four sleds on that trailer. Hopefully, Thor's hammer and, and uh, his sled will all fit on there. It's going to be a tight squeeze. time since I uh, spoke to you all. Uh, I'm here at the border of uh, Arizona and New Mexico at the Ultramart Cafe. Uh, it's basically a Hazari palace of sketch and mud. Um, basically it's Tuesday morning about nine o'clock in the morning. We left Albuquerque really early this morning. Slept at Kent and Raquel's house. Um, we left uh, Don's last night about uh, 9.30 got in at two in the morning in Albuquerque. Usually it would only take about two and a half hours, but we had to drive through horrible blizzard conditions, uh, icy roads, and we only have a two wheel drive van, which I'll show you here in a minute. So we went, we uh, locked up all the sleds, got them on the trailer, and uh, we're heading to California. I, so much has happened, I can't even begin to tell you. Don pretty much whipped out a sled in a day and a half, 
We've got Kent's uh, duct tape and bailing wire here ready for action. And uh, so I just wanted to give a quick little update and I'll show you what we got here, okay? We've got the infamous duct tape and bailing wire. Here it is, folks. You've heard about it. Now you're seeing it. I don't know. Personally, I wouldn't stick my head in there for all the tea in China. Then, of course, we have the amazing, the beautiful, the Viper. Then we've got Don Sled, the Snowtime Mobile, the fastest machine ever put together in a day. There's the man himself, happy as can be. And then, of course, we've got Thor's hammer, which the Viper is not really that much taller than Thor's hammer. And we've got our great Dodge van, which we'll have to do some justice to, so. Yes, and we've got all kinds of shit piled in the van. Thank God we have the van. Actually, not thank God. Thank you, Bill Shine. What a juke. So I drove uh, basically last night through the absolutely horrid blizzard conditions to get us here today. Uh, we got to Flagstaff, and then Big Don took over the wheel, and he's doing quite nicely. He is very experienced at this sort of thing. So we're headed to the shovel races, we're jamming out, we've got hat hair, we've got sleep on Raquel's couch hair, but we're in good spirits and we're happy. So if we can get there early enough to get the hotel room, the condo, get back, unpack, and beat Matt and Kent, we're getting into the airport down in LA um, at 7 o'clock. If we can get there before them, we'll be doing good because Kent woke up this morning packed his sled on here, and he'll fly out and it's already there. I mean, that's the perfect deal. I don't know how he got such a sweet deal. Kent, how'd you get such a sweet deal? What the hell? What have you done for me lately? Ba -ba -da -ba. The truckers wonder what is wrong with yeah. The truckers are wondering what's wrong with us. They've been talking back and forth on the CB to each other saying, do you see that sled? What the hell are those things in the back of that trailer? Some weird looking shit, them New Mexicans. Well, that's a sweet Dodge they're driving in. By the way, Bill, the vehicle is running beautifully. We've been doing 80 miles an hour. The trailer, oh, loving it. It's working great. Nothing has flown off the, the back yet. So, you know, everything's doing good. We're uh, making excellent time. We're just very excited to be uh, on our way to the Extreme Games. Thank you. Bill Burgess, you suck. I love Elver King, so we're going to do... Uh one of his songs on KUNM, You're to the Ground, with your host John Strader, Gomer, like we like to call him. No. <laughs> All right, I've been saying <laughs> that. You ought to be out there, some more girl. In Hollywood, the way you clown at the gin, I make you feel so good. I know you're playing on me. You rub my back every morning. You put a little coffee in my cup. You look at that clock on the wall and say, Daddy, please hurry up. I know you're playing on me. You're playing on me And when I leave Before the screen door slams Well then the phone rings You're trying to find out where I am I know you're playing on me Show you. Give me the hat. 
You're gonna throw my hat outside, aren't no, you? No, I'm gonna put it up. Abdullah. You look great in it. <laughs> yeah. You dissing my hat? What are you thinking? Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. This is probably the only chance I'm gonna have to actually just be just like talk on this thing forever because there's gonna be a lot of stuff going on once we get out there so hey how's my hair it's a good hair day today yes it is when we get back I'm gonna seek some professional help for you. professional help that's what we need here at Team Shovelmeister I think uh, Kent Sled needs some professional help <laughs> no. I think that Team Shovelmeister has quite a collection of some fast shit out there because we've been going like 90 the whole way and everything's just been holding together beautifully. Kent Sled flew off the trailer at 80 miles an hour. Not a scratch on it. So I'm not worried. I think that we'll be doing really well. Um, we are concerned. We have seen a little bit of uh, footage of some of the other competitors. So. Uh, ESPN showed us what Rob Villalobos' contraptions are looking like. We know that they're all going to be four ski machines like the Viper, but uh, <laughs> I'm having fun. Okay. And you have a four ski design. Come on now, let's keep And I have a four story. ski design. Yeah. The Viper. Yes. Ha cha cha cha. But uh, so it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see which group of uh, sleds, the four ski or the two ski, is really gonna dominate here at ESPN because as of right now, we have no idea what's gonna happen. It's gonna be such an unprecedented event that we'll do everything in our power to control what you see and what you hear. <laughs> but it's a cute little teddy bear of my angels. Aww. That's not an omen for things to come. Kento, I forgot. I have a new name for your sled. And since I am the team leader of Team Shovelmeister, I will name your sled. Don't tell Bill Burgess. Um, <laughs> I think we're going to call it the Tea Bag Returns. <laughs> Return of the Tea Bag. Let's check out the Tea Bag. Why don't we? these shovels are ever gonna go. Maybe. Well, we might go this fast. What do you think the top speed of one of these shovels might be this year, Don? We're gonna break 80 here in Big Bear. You think so? Yes, sir. All right, that's what I like to hear. So how fast are we going right now? Uh, 78. All right, so this could be us right here. On snow, very low to the ground basically hauling ass. All right, let's count down the members of Team Shovelmeister. We have four drivers, myself, John Strader, Don Atkins driving Snow Time, Kent Hutchings driving the tea bag, and uh, Gail Bowles driving Thor's Hammer. Now, for the official ESPN rules, we're only allowed to have two sleds, I mean two crew members per sled. So, my sled will have my brother Matt Strader and uh, Bill Shine. Donnie's sled will have his wife Cindy and uh, Aaron. Aaron, uh, I, I don't remember his last name. Sorry, Aaron. Uh, Aaron Weger. That's it. Weger! Yeah! Aaron Weger! And then we have uh, Thor's Hammer will have uh, Lauren Pablo and uh, Andy Dobos, who is also the team ski wax extraordinaire man, wild creature. He's the man. And uh, then uh, whose sled do I have left? Do I say everyone's? Kent's sled. We will have Tony and Colin. Colin, who will be strategically doing some uh, pictures only under the table. And that should be our crew. And then we Hopefully have, uh, they'll let us ride our uh, production shovels down the mountain first, because I personally don't want to ride this hill until I've ridden it on a shovel. Make sure everything's kosher.
I come home at lunchtime, you know you're always gone. And I come home at night, you're too tired to turn me on. I know you're playing on me. As long as you keep it out of my face, well, I can't see. Don't ever think for one minute you're making a fool out of me. I know you're playing on me. I want to be a super modified shovel racer. Don't ever think for one minute. Yeah, this woman who jump over brick walls to get a half of what I give to you. I know you're playing on me. Yeah, I know you're playing on me. What could be better than that? <laughs> Go one five 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 elf love. Maybe you should consider Taos next year, ESPN. Or uh, we'll do Park City, baby. We're gonna ride those shovels down the loose tracks. Mark my words. Mark. Wait, there is patches of snow every once in a while, even by the side of the road. Wait, there's some snow. All right, the shovel races are saved. The long and winding road that will lead to the shovel races isn't covered with any snow. Check this out. Looks like Big Bear Lake to me. Well. Okay, Don, what do you think the advantages are gonna be on this mountain here? I'm not sure, but I, I think a combination of wax, uh, good steering, good control for sure. You're gonna have to have it. The course isn't level, it's rough. It looks pretty short, but we got a, a nice little run out. It ought to be interesting. I still think there's going to be some action. You better have some good brakes, buddy. Good brakes. You think brakes are the key, huh? Well, look at the shutdown area. It's not as long as Angel Fire's. Not even, but either is the hill. We're not going to be going half as fast as we would normally do. I don't think, personally. I guess we'll see. Winter X Games, extreme shovel racing action. We are going to rock this mountain to the ground. No one, no one will stop us. The media frenzy here at the Extreme Games begins. We just met Dave, we saw the Villalobos guys, they have the look of fear in their eyes. I'm telling you, we're gonna conquer. <laughs> All right.
right, here we are. Bayshore Lake and Racket. Kent and Matt have arrived. And we're working feverishly on our sleds. We've got Don here working like a madman with his makeshift shop. Say hi, Don. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, who are you? Uh, my name's Fred. Fred? Yes. How's it going there, Fred? What is your job for Team Shovelmeister? Oh, I'm the, uh, the team technician, backup, uh, backup, backup driver. driver. So if John gets the, the gout, you're driving, right? Yep. If something happens to anyone, I, I, I've got to try and squeeze my little body in this one of these sleds. Well, I think you'll fit in this one just fine. The tea bag special. Kent's amazing duct tape and bailing wire. Once again, he has built a fast sled with the possibility of death trap implications, but fast nonetheless. Watch out, Via Lobos. Here comes duct tape, bailing wire, and a fat tea bag, baby. Woohoo! <laughs> Kent hates that. It's not a tea bag, man. So, explain to us in the viewing audience what you're doing here, sir. Get away from me with that camera. Get that thing back. I don't want you to smell me. I don't want you to breathe the air I breathe. Okay. This is shovel racing. This is not camera time. <laughs> okay. Hi, Mom. Oh, my finger. It's <laughs> just. <laughs> So tell the camera what you're doing here, Don. Uh, one of them is stop on your secondary brakes in case you're forced to use it. With this big plow, the chances are slim that I'll have to use it. Well, get that to stop like you think it's going to. Don't panic on it. I'm not worried about it. I'll crash that net, rip it right in half, baby. And then we've got Don's sled here. And of course, the hammer, the hammer, the viper, the viper. That's it. If I What is this weird piece of plexiglass on the back? Uh, it's to mount a camera. This is my rudder. The theory is that if you drop something into the snow, you're slowing yourself down when you steer. So I'm not even going to bother with that. This is my steering right here. I'm going to use the wind resistance to turn right or left if I have to. And if that doesn't work, how are you going to steer? Um, yeah, but see, what this if... this works with the wind, so so it should work. <laughs> what do you think about that, Strader? <laughs> Well, we're here at uh, Snow Summit, California. As you know, uh, today is going to be our test run day. So we've got to get the sleds prepared and get them to uh, test them down the mountain today by one to four. We had a little problem last night because um, Kent actually drove into, uh, L flew into LAX airport instead of Ontario. So Matt had to go from Ontario airport all the way across town to LAX, pick him up and get in. So they got in really late last night. Don and I just hung out and got everything prepared. We did run into Burgess last night and Rob Villalobos. His sled looks really hot, but uh, I think he looks really scared. Yeah, it's a little tighter, too, because then if you, uh, when you're pulling it. So, sir, do you raise shovels yourself? Pull my finger. <laughs> no, really, try it. Here's our nice condos. at the area that we're at here. Wait, there's a little thing on there.
the Locos, the Locomotion, the Savage Monster. So what is the sled's name? The Canyon Racer. I knew that. I knew that. I just, it looks so different I wasn't sure. Woo, it's looking hot, baby. It's Ken Touchings. Well, here. I'm just a spectator. You're a spectator? Yes, well, how can you have one of those uh, ESPN uh, coats? And Angel and Fire, Fire Resort. Resort. Let's see that. Oh, so you work for Angel yes, Fire. Yes, I do. I'll be setting up interviews for the pilots today. Oh, I see. And Talk nice. And what is your name? Kathy Wing. Kathy, Kathy Wing. Wing. What is your job? Doing that to get your sleds in your place. Well, things are getting a little dicey. Uh, we've got to run back and pick up bull, uh, pick up pick up Don and the sled and the skis and everything and get back here. They say if we're not back in 20 minutes, we can't make a test run or blah, blah, blah. They're really fucking our world up. We still don't know where Gail Bowles is, if he's here, if he's not. I really don't know what's happening. So we're trying to get our shit together, working as hard as we can. But uh, they're pretty damn disorganized around here. There's a lot of shit going on. So we, uh, we'll see what happens. So where have we just been? Talk to us. I want an update of what has happened. Um, we went down, we talked to all those people, uh, we brought up some very, very valid Which points. Which people do we talk to? Yeah, all those idiots. A guy named Guido and a guy named Tony. We paid them, yeah, the, regular. We paid them to knock off some of the competition. Uh, uh, that's so that's what's going to happen, man. Yeah. What was that, Matt? Who wants you, man? <laughs> <laughs> I'll send him a copy of this. Oh, uh, what a just a smirking piece of shit. So who is Daryl Gordon? Is he our friend? Absolutely not. Not anymore. I did like him and respect him until tonight. <laughs> I, I, I get along with him all right. Yeah, well, you're the ambassador. Yeah, well, you are the ambassador. You just... Everybody loves me, and I give him some love and back. <laughs> Don, what, what do you think? Did we get all our questions? Here, come to the light. Did Actually, we get all our questions, our questions I think so. answered? We even I think so. Before we even asked? Uh, they, they pretty much feel like they're going to whip your booty. That's bad basically boy. what's going on. Bad boy, bad boy. I'm the bad, bad boy, boy bad, bad boy. You know what? Wait a minute. What you gonna do Listen when this. they come? Well, I must say that uh, I think the uh, pilots meeting was a very fruitful meeting. Weenie. Bro. <laughs> 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 oh, I think it was a very fruitful meeting, and I think that uh, we learned a lot, and we found out that everyone, because I crashed today, oh, by the way, I crashed today, I think that everyone was uh, feeling really cocky like they're going to whoop my ass, and I love it. I always crash on race day, on practice day, I'm going to whoop some ass. Well, shovel racing began by people just putting the seat of their pants right there on a grain scoop. Needless to say, it's advanced since then. It's not exactly a shovel anymore, and they go a tad bit faster. Jack Aroot introduces us to this crazy sport. Super modified shovel racing, and anything goes downhill trip where pilots and sleds assault the Miracle Mile. Street loser Lee Danzi makes his first trip in a super shovel. Hey Lee, don't break anything. You've got to be around for the X Games this summer. The X Games this summer? I got four months to heal. <laughs> I got four months to heal. I'll be all right. I shouldn't break anything anyway. Danzi is no stranger to speed. Second in the 95 dual street luge, he returned to the X Games this year and had only gold on his mind. His pursuit ended stuffed in a hay bale. This one's for the Gipper. Shovel racing traces its roots to the grain scoops that ski resort workers use to groom the slopes. At the end of a hard day's work, they'd simply sit on the scoop and slide down the mountain. Super modified shovels, limited only by a designer's imagination, still use the scoop, but now it's only as an ornament. For 29-year-old Lee, this first trip is a journey into the unknown. 
The asphalt that he normally races his street luge upon is now bleached white. Skis replace wheels. Speed remains the constant. Steering kept to a minimum. Lee's sled is a converted car carrier. It's one of the smallest and lightest sleds. It turns out to be the quickest. Hey, Lee, this is Jack Arood. How was that run? It was really bumpy. I really had a hard time seeing what was going on. Did you have to use, kind of go at it the same way you do with a street luge? Just, just take as much, as little as you can visually and try and work it in there? Um, it was more like it was. I was trying to see what was going on, and uh, I tried to hit the brake, and I was one-handed, and it was pulling the. Okay, it was pulling the rear end around. A shovel pilot adapts to his terrain. Bumps are simply part of the ride. Stability is a precious commodity. The trip is quick and filled with adrenaline. Shovel racers come in all shapes and sizes, and the pilots do also. Take, for example, 260-pound Kermit Brown. He may remind you of Grizzly Adams, but this mountain man hunts only for speed. Pilots name their sleds, personal creations that deserve the honor of a name. Brown's is called the Kerminator, and it will be back. No one in hell I'm going to run all the way. John Strader, the self-proclaimed bad boy of shovels. He indeed does not make it all the way. His sled, called the Viper, bears her fangs and bites John and the mountain. The practice session sees Kermit Brown's posting fourth best of the day, followed by Brian Turpin, a rookie. Second place goes to Daryl Gordon and Lee Danzi on top. When the competition starts with qualifying, Danzi will be the instant favorite, but the rest will be gunning for him. Lee Danzi, the only guy who did not apply the brake in the practice runs as crowds swarm the finish line to take a look at this very interesting event. Shovel racing debuts Saturday on ESPN at 8 p.m. Eastern time. When competition begins, no need to put on the brakes. Mike? Well, Chris, we saw what happened to one driver who rode his brake a little too hard during that initial practice run. He flipped over John Strader, shovel racing self-styled evangelist, who began preaching the moment he got to Big Bear. I want people to see beautiful sleds flying down the hill, full speed, out of control, all the time. John Strader has been racing production model shovels since the age of 12. To Strader, nothing compares to flying down the hill with the seat of your pants attached to a grain scoop. His sport is his obsession. He's a one-track assault of shovel racing mania. I'd say that calling me a shovel race visionary and preacher would probably not be too far from... That's probably pretty close to the truth, I'd say. In his camp, the spirit is infectious. Others tab his antics obnoxious. The bad boy. I'm the bad boy. I'm the Dallas Cowboys. People either love you, they hate you. There's not any in-between with me. It's, I, I, I'm very upfront. I don't play mind games. I, I go right for what I want. The selling keeps going and going. It's hard to believe that here in Taos, which is right next door to Angel Fire, so many people have never heard of the shovel races. They've never seen a shovel race. It's about time that all changed. Strader leads Team Shovelmeister, a syndicate of four principals, all dedicated to shovel racing. Don Atkins. I'm a builder, fabricator, and uh, I enjoy being a pilot also. Kent Hutchings. I am the webmaster. I'm in charge of compiling all the information about shovel racing and about the team itself, putting it on the computer, getting it across the internet to uh, all parts of the world. And the defending champ, Gail Bowles. My role for Team Shovelmeister is pilot first, goodwill ambassador second, and spiritual guru third. Bowles is the alter ego to team leader Strader, the sports self-proclaimed spokesman. Let's go to the top! The brash attitude upsets the shovel community, but that doesn't deter his push to new horizons, because winning is not enough. That's a short-sighted goal. That's just worrying about this year. I mean, uh, the, the expansion of the sport is, is number one in my, and that's what this is all about. aren't new, but they sure are exciting. And speaking of exciting, super modified shovels, they're racing for the finals. 
the Winter X Games brings together the greatest athletes from around the world. Athletes who've changed hey, their sports. Hey, isn't that our paper boy? Sure is. The Winter <laughs> X Games continues tomorrow at 8.30 p.m. on ESPN2. Trying to smile Just might find you It's all 